So The Lullaby is directed by John Leonetti, who has given us great gems like The Butterfly Effect and the first Annabelle film. So uh, we know what we're in for. A new mother who discovers a lullaby in an ancient book and soon regards the song as a blessing. But her world transforms into a nightmare when the lullaby brings forth an ancient demon named Lilith. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Anthony, here to give you guys another movie review. We're talking about lullaby. And I know it's been a while, guys, but um, I got the vid. <laughs> you know, three years of not getting it, and I finally got it. And it's been kicking my ass. But I'm going to push through and try to give you guys the best review for this straight-to-VOD horror film that you probably didn't even know existed. But I did. So I'm here to save you. So like I said, the director of this film uh, did the Annabelle and Butterfly Effect 2 and other films that... Um, it's not very tasteful. And usually I'm not really caring about that because, you know, people direct stuff and sometimes it's not for me and sometimes it's for other people. But the overall consensus with this director is um, he doesn't make good movies. And I will say that at least this one, it seems like there's some kind of concept here, much like the Annabelle film, but it's just not really executed very well. And I don't want to go too crazy into this film because we know that these low budget horror films are not going to blow our socks away. Usually around this time of the holidays, we get those horror Christmas movies, and those ones tend to have a really low budget, you know, movies like The Mean One and The Killer Christmas Tree. Those films have very, very, very bad CGI when it comes to their blood, so I'm not really expecting that much when I see films like this. So I'm not expecting much, like I said, but I will say that this film pretty much exceeded my expectations, but also lowered it at the same time. But first off, we gotta talk about the main attraction. The reason why you're here sitting down watching this film is the main monster, Lilith, and her goons, her little monsters going around. At first when I saw the trailer, I thought the old lady that we saw in the trailer was Lilith, but then actually when I was watching the movie, I was like, no, that's not her, that's just one of her minions. And she also has these babies with two heads and babies with like fur on them. All the babies in here look creepy. I mean, babies in general are kind of creepy, but these ones, really creepy. And I think that aspect of this film is probably the best. I mean, they do a lot of practical effects when it comes to Lilith and her minion witch lady. The babies not so much. They're very heavily CGI. But like I said, I'm expecting the CGI to be pretty bad in this film. And don't get me wrong, this is, this is nightmare fuel. But the concept and the lore and like the book that they have that shows all of Lilith's lullaby and her history and everything and developing her story they did a really good job in that aspect. I mean, that's how you create a horror icon. Much like an other new up and coming horror icon, the Jack in a Box, this film with Lilith in the lullaby, I don't think it's a good like starting point for her. Like I said, the character is interesting, but the story surrounding her is it's not good. <laughs> and you're probably asking, well, you know, you're not expecting to have a story that blows you away. You're just here to see the monster and do the monster do monster things. And I will say you'll get that if that's what you're just looking for, but I can't help but to notice the acting and the line delivery in this film. You know, I don't want to get on anybody's case too much, but uh, wow. Wow, well, I thought I you know I was sick, but I didn't think it affected my vision and my hearing that bad. For me, it just takes me out of the film. Uh, the whole time I was just laughing at some of the lines that they were saying and some of the situations that these characters are in. But I also will say that I was kind of surprised at some of the characters' decisions because usually I, I'd be screaming at the screen to say like, hey, you know, let's go to a freaking priest. Let's get this exorcist stuff going on. And they actually kind of do that in this film. So I kind of gave them props for that. But the rest of the stuff that they're doing, yeah, cliche uh, horror movie stuff that you don't do. But overall, guys, I think that the lullaby movie is pretty entertaining. Uh, there's some aspects to it that are pretty good. Like I said, the monster design is cool. The backstory. I do want to see more of this character, much like the Jack in the Box film that I really want. Those films would be good because the design of that monster is so good. Same with this one. The design is so cool. The concept, the lore is so cool that I just want it to be held, you know, with care. <laughs> you know, maybe choose a different director that didn't direct the Butterfly Effect 2 and Annabelle, the first one, you know. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below, guys. Did you watch this film? Are you interested in this film? How do you feel about lullabies? 
You know, um, not all of us can appreciate lullabies. I don't think I was sung lullabies as a kid. Probably was. Hmm. Might explain a lot. But let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out my Twitter so you stay up to date with my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, guys, keep watching movies.